I'm in the process of repairing and restoring a Madas mechanical calculator from the very early 1900s and one of the problems I had with it was I needed to rewind the uh, drive motor for it. It's a series one motor but it was wound in a bit of an odd fashion so I've completed rewinding the rotor and I haven't impregnated it so I can't run it at high speed but I want to see if it will run at all. So it's a brushed motor, uh, as I say series wound. It's um, intended to run at 240 volts AC and so what I want to do now is just see if it will spin at all. And what I'm looking for here is uh, I don't want excessive arcing at the brushes. Uh, if I get a lot of arcing or if it won't spin at all of course then I've obviously made a mistake somewhere in rewinding it. So I'll get this connected to a mains uh, auto transformer and we'll see if it will spin at all. As I say it's just temporarily assembled for now and we'll need to take it apart to impregnate the rotor uh, on the assumption that it's going to spin. So uh, fingers crossed let's uh, hope it does something other than smoke. Okay, so it's spinning quite nicely and there is practically no arcing from the brushes at all. So it does look like the timing of the motor is correct. And so what I'll do now, I don't want to spin it any faster than this. Uh, what I can do now is take it back apart and uh, get the rotor impregnated uh, with some resin and that will just um, set all the windings in place so that when the motor spun at high speed the windings don't vibrate and short out or fly off the rotor and get bound up inside the motor. So I'll get that done now, get it reassembled and then hopefully we can give it a full speed test and uh, see if it works the way it's supposed to but it, it certainly looks uh, fairly promising so far. And uh, just uh, one other check I'll do before I go any further is we'll do a, a measurement between the uh, motor supply uh, wire and the uh, motor chassis. This is the problem I had before that um, there was a lot of leakage and so we'll measure that and see if it's something reasonable. Okay so we'll get the test meter in and we should be getting something around 100 meg or, or greater uh, before we're getting just a, a few uh, kilo ohms which is uh, obviously uh, far too low. So 150 meg I'll just try rotating the rotor to a different position. Okay, that looks fine. Well over 100 meg and that's what we're looking for. It's uh, The leakage current will be extremely low and um, most of this is in probably dust and debris in the uh, field winding. Uh, once I've taken the rotor back out now it's been run, I'll obviously retest that for leakage as well. And uh, all being well then, um, we're getting fairly close to having this motor fully functional. Okay, that's the rotor ready to go back into the motor for a, a final test. Um, I've impregnated this with cellulose lacquer and um, the way I do this is I uh, immerse the uh, rotor up to just below the level of the commutator. It goes into a container and then the whole thing is um, put into a vacuum chamber. You'll, when I first apply the vacuum you can see all the um, air bubbles uh, coming out where the lacquer is replacing the air. You can go the other way and apply pressure but if you're not careful you just end up compressing the air that's in there and then when you release the pressure uh, it bubbles up. Uh, using a vacuum you tend not to get bubbles forming. Uh, once I take it out of there I put it into a lathe and I let it spin at a slow speed about 60 rpm for about an hour and a half and that allows the lacquer to harden uh, without puddling. If you just rest it on a bench um, all the lacquer will run down a puddle on one side and it, uh, not only will it stick to the bench but it would be uh, badly uh, out of balance. And uh, spinning it slowly just uh, keeps the lacquer evenly distributed and uh, don't go too fast of course it'll just fly off but uh, going around slowly and um, it allows the lacquer to cure without uh, causing any major headaches. What I then do is balance this 
and to balance here it's um, all I do is I take a couple of um, knife blades and I attach them to some welding magnets and level the two blades and then you put the rotor onto them and um, because there's very little um, resistance or friction between the shaft and the uh, knife edge as long as the blades are level and parallel to each other then it uh, will allow you to balance the rotor just find the heavy spot will sink to the bottom and what I tend to do is rather than trying to lighten the heavy parts I just apply more lacquer to the light side and uh, let it dry and I keep doing that until it's balanced and uh, then this was uh, allowed 24 hours to cure I cleaned up the commutator and I can now assemble the motor and see if it still runs Okay, that's the motor reassembled and as you can see it's running just fine. Um, it's kind of hard to get a, an accurate um, current measurement on this uh, auto transformer because of the nature of the uh, motor but it's actually drawing a bit less current than it did before and I suspect that the old motor had some um, interwinding shorts and uh, that was what was causing that. Uh, just dim the lights in here and you can actually see one of the brushes um, through the opening in the motor uh, but as you can probably tell there is now no arcing whatsoever uh, coming from the commutator uh, which is a very good sign it means that the timing and the winding of the motor is correct and uh, it looks like this motor is now ready to go back into the machine before I do that I'm going to run it for a few hours just to make sure that it's okay and um, I've got it uh, running on reduced voltage here simply because it's unloaded I don't want to overspeed it if I go any faster than this the overspeed brake comes on so that will just um, wear the brake out normally it would be under load so it wouldn't run away but um, it will do uh, as I say completely unloaded like this so I'll leave it running um, I have tested it um, since I've reassembled it and there's now absolutely no leakage at all so that's looking quite promising and uh, as I say I just need to let it run for a while now and make sure that the uh, lacquer is fully cured on the rotor um, but it's looking extremely promising so far.